You know, I think one of the most important things that you can do in life is just reflect. Like, reflect where you've been in life, reflect where you came from, reflect on what it, all it took to get, you know, where you're at. Even if you're not in your ideal situation, even if you don't feel like you made it, like you're probably farther along than where you started or where you could have been. And I was talking to somebody about this the other day. <clears throat> I was like, you know, when we think about our hardest times, our difficulties, our biggest setbacks, our tragedies that we went through, a lot of those times, obviously when we're going through them, are not fun, they suck. We feel like life is over, it's difficult. It's like, are we ever gonna make it past this? Will life ever be better? But when you look, you know, back on those moments, two or three, four or five, 10 years, you know, later, Sometimes we're like, man, that defined who I am as a person. That made me, that helped me do what I do now. That gave me like a superpower. And as we're here, you know, at our new place downtown, super nice, super luxurious, probably one of the nicest places that I, the nicest places I've ever lived in by myself, uh, for sure. Um, <clears throat> I was just like, man, it's crazy. I don't want to take this for granted because I remember like when I, when all of this was a dream, you know, I remember back when from the time I was eight until the time I was 14, I had to deal with child abuse. You know, I always bring that up because I f I'm the type of person that focus on the future, but I realize that can help motivate other people that are either going through something similar or feel like, you know, their struggles are bigger than, you know, the dreams that they have. But from the time I was eight to 14, I had to deal with, with child abuse. I had to deal with, you know, my mom getting remarried and, having you know not really a dad but a, a black male figure in the house for the first time ever that that i lived with never met my dad my actual real dad before um but i had to deal with this man putting his hands on me you know there's times i got choked out there's times i got punched kicked almost drowned um had bruises on myself when i had to go to school um verbal abuse you ain't gonna be nothing you ain't nothing you ain't ish all this type of stuff man i'm not gonna go into crazy details but you you get the ideas from 8 to 14 that's a long time i'm not talking about like two or three incidents i'm talking about multiple incidents every single year from 8 to 14 six years that can really define a person i've seen a lot of people go through that and not ever make it to, to get out of that and have a mindset of they have low self-worth low self-value uh, no self-esteem no purpose no nothing it almost destroys who they are as a person and so i was just like man for me it, sometimes it's crazy that i even went through that you know and i'm just like man to be able to do that and to be where i am man i'm super proud of myself but i don't want to just be proud of just me i want other people to be proud of themselves too and i realized god maybe made my mind stronger mentally than other people's and so he allowed me to get through that, but not just to get through it, just so I can keep living. Maybe he helped me get through it so I can inspire other people. And that's what I've been thinking a lot about lately. I'm like, man, that's the best feeling to know that you went through something tragic that could have ended you or turned you into a negative person or, you know, messed up your mindset and to come out of that on top to be coming out of that as a winner, to come out that in a better situation than all the people that try to put you down <clears throat> and my biggest joy is helping other people you know get that feeling too and i don't want to make this video all about my personal story i just say that to kind of motivate you to say take a look at where you came from a lot of the times we feel like we have this big goal in our head like oh man when i finally um have a, a billboard record song or when i finally have my dream house or when i finally make a million dollars when i finally get married and have two kids but we don't we don't have to wait until we get to those points we can celebrate whenever we want like you've came likely came a long way like think about where you were last year think about a time when you thought you weren't going to make it your money was low maybe you're injured somebody in your family died what whatever that tragedy was for you <clears throat> and you didn't know how you were going to make it past but look at you you made it and that's what life is about you know every single day we just gotta progress ourselves it doesn't have to be you know from today to tomorrow we become a millionaire or sell a million records or get our dream house or get our dream body but you just get one step closer one step closer one step closer if you do that every day until the day you die like you won you did it perfectly you know what i mean and i just want to do this video just to say 
like I really want to help as many people as possible like manifest their dreams like this right here is crazy bro like if I would have went back and been able to talk to myself from the age of 8 to 14 and would have just said bro I know it sucks what you're going through right now but it's gonna be cool like that would have helped me so much because there's a lot of times where I was just like man this sucks it's awful this is gonna be like my life like what's my life gonna be like and you know Obviously, I didn't know at the time how it was going to play out, and I still don't know how it's going to play out like years from now, but just to give myself that peace of mind, and that's what I want to do to you. I want to just say, like, I know what you're going through is hard, it's difficult, like, life happens, but, like, I want to be that person that's supporting you. I don't want to be one of your friends or your family members that's telling you to give up right now to just play it safe, to be realistic. Like, F that. You got one life, and... You can make it. You can be somebody. It doesn't matter what you went through. It doesn't matter what tr traumas you went through or tragedies. Like, yeah, that stuff sucks. But, like, life doesn't stop. And although people might feel bad for you, they're not going to stop doing what they want to do. The world isn't going to stop turning. The sun isn't going to stop shining. Like, you got to figure out a way to keep pushing no matter what happens in your life. And if you need to see a therapist or see someone to figure it out, like, do it. But don't just give up. Don't just pack it in. Because if I would have done that, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. And there's a lot of people that feel so depressed that they want to take their life. And it's, and I get it. I do. I have friends and I've talked to them and I've got inside of that mentality. I don't understand it 100% because I've never been there myself. But as an outsider talking to some other people that have felt that way, I get it. I understand to some degree. But there's more to life. And if you've ever thought about killing yourself or if you ever attempted and didn't try it, and if you're able to look back on that years and years later, you see a lot of those problems went away. A lot of those issues went away. And so I wanted to just make this video to just say, man, look how far you've come. Look, remember the times that you thought you would have never got over those obstacles, would have never got over um, those difficulties, those problems, those tragedies, but you did. It doesn't matter how far you've come, but you've come a, a certain distance away from that. And if you just keep that mentality, you'll do fine. But it's not just hoping that you'll do fine. You got to put yourself in a position where you're making yourself. You can't you can't just be like, oh, man, if I believe in myself, I'll have a better body at the end of the year. That's not true. You got to believe in yourself. You got to have faith. But you also have to eat right. You have to work out. So same thing with your mind. Same thing with your life. You got to learn. You got to put yourself around people that are successful, that are uplifting. You got to put yourself around material that's uplifting, <coughs> that helps your uh, personal development so don't give up on yourself remind yourself frequently like look around your life dang i have nice stuff i had this and that i remember when i was nothing i remember when i didn't have anything look what i have now be grateful be humble but keep working for the life that you love because it's waiting for you only way you're not going to get it is if you give up